diamonds. If there's a any upset, the diamonds is often a really good candidate for that, right? You, we saw a few years ago Mahai Drysdale being overturned by Matt Brigham in a race that was dubbed the Kingslayer race. Uh, we've seen many a lightweight victor over, over the open weights. Could we see an upset here today? Well, a single skull is the smallest boat. So if one person has a problem, then it affects the whole crew. It is the whole crew. In an eight, if one person has a problem, you know, you can probably carry that. You won't notice it so much. So if one of these guys has an off day, Pluminski has an off day, he's not really here, gets a bad start, steers badly, then maybe it might not go his way. So we're back now. This is Pluminski of Poland here on the left-hand side of your picture. And uh, Young of Cambridge 99s on the right-hand side of your picture. And uh, it's Pluminski who is really rattling through off the start. We've got some beautifully flat water here, maybe for the first time this regatta <laughs> this evening up near the island. Yeah, it's calm behind that island, isn't it? And you can see it's still calm at the, on the end of the island. The flags are flapping a little bit as we take a look there. Will Young He's just coming off his station a little bit towards the middle, but no problem there. Pluminski will stay out of trouble. I'm sure Will Young will be taking a turn. He's got just about an overlap. He'll be desperate to try and keep that now and put some pressure, as you say, on the big favourite, Pierre Pluminski, on that far side. Well, Young uh, has already taken an international scalp here, this regatta, yesterday in the quarterfinal, beating Stephen Cox uh, of Zimbabwe, um, who's looking to get the Zimbabwean place for the single skull at the Olympics uh, next year in Paris. Uh, and he's trying to close this gap here for Zim Pluminski. So we'll keep up with this the whole way down the track. So we're back here with the Semi-final of the Diamond Challenge Girls between Pluminski of Poland, who's leading out ahead of Young of Cambridge 99s here in the near side. And I'm joined by the uh, triple Olympic medalist Greg Searle uh, in the commentary box. Greg, uh, great to see um, you know Young really trying to stick his bow ball here to, to the Polish scholar. That's absolutely right. It's lovely to be here talking about these pictures. And Pluminski, the Polish sculler on the right of the screen, he's the big favourite for this. He raced at the World Championships last year where he finished 11th. Looking across here where we've got Will Young in front of us. He was sixth in the sculler's head. He's had a great season racing domestically. One at Wallingford, the Met, and at Marlow Regattas. But this is a step up for him, isn't it? I mean, the Diamonds has had some incredible names, like, you know, etched onto it. We've got Oliver Tidler on the other side of the draw, the, the world champion who we saw make the final, um, the likes of Mahi Drysdale. It's, it's a huge event. And uh, to be in the semi-final against international competition, um, you know, being coached uh, here by the uh, Sculler, uh, sorry, by Chris Radbone, and then just a little pleasure boat going across the, uh, the waters there. We don't want any mishaps like we did earlier. Yeah, we call that quintessentially British, don't we? The little skiffing boat crosses over the course. And what's quintessentially British, like you say, is that trophy they're racing for and whether you can etch your name on it. That there's a box that sits within the steward's enclosure. It has diamonds and skulls sitting inside it. And if you win this event, you get to have your name written in that box and it goes down in history. And it's, a, it's quite a fascinating trophy, isn't it, the Diamond Challenge Girls? I think it's like one of my favourite aesthetic trophies um, that is here at the regatta, right? Yeah, that's right. It's a couple of crossed skulls and they have diamonds encrusted in them. Just all, not all over them, but a couple of diamonds within them. And then there's names on there. But actually to take home, for most of the rowers here, they take home a medal in a little red box. But if you win at this, you take home what we call the Pineapple Cup. And the Pineapple Cup is a goblet, the sort of thing that, you know, kings and queens would have drunk their, uh, their ale from back in the day. And it's a lovely, lovely trophy that they're racing for here. Yeah, so at the moment, it's still Pluminski of Poland. He was fourth at the Junior World Championships back in 2018. He's now 22, so four years on um, and trying to move through uh, the, the senior rankings and progress through in what is a very competitive event, one of the most widely entered events on the international circuit, the single skull. Um, and I must say, Young doing a great job here. You know, this could be lengths and lengths, uh, but it's it's really not. This is quite a close race considering the caliber of Pluminski um, and Young being the domestic athlete here. 
completely. It shows the quality of Will Young here that he took out the Zimbabwean scholar Stephen Cox yesterday. Now here he is, and he's not letting Plaminski rest at all. He's had a great season. He's improved. Will Young, that he, he raced here back in 2018 and 2019, and uh, he was in crew boats then, but then he switched to sculling back in 2020. And since then, he's been stepping on and on, making A finals at domestic regattas. This year, looking like a breakthrough year for him. Yeah, I think, you know, excited to see what uh, what else is in store here for Will Young. And he, he thanks, we've already mentioned his coach, Chris Randbone, but uh, his partner, Gemma Douglas, who I'm not sure whether she's here or, or tuning in on the live stream, but said that could not have done this without, without both of them. Um, and being, you know, a full-time employee, um, as a, a head of manufacturing, um, you know, this, he's, he's not training full time like the national team athlete is, Piotr, on your right hand side of your screen. Yeah, it's lovely that Will, Will Young name checks his partner, as you say. Um, I'm looking for it now. Yeah, Gemma Douglas and his coach, Chris Rathbone, and, and, and recognize that support that there's not, it's not easy to live with an athlete. You know, these athletes train very hard, um, they're often a bit grumpy about their training, particularly the single scholars. It's a special breed. You take yourself pretty seriously. Um, if you had a good day, you come home in a good mood. If you had not such a good training session, then you're not always the easiest person to live with. But I'm sure Gemma Douglas does what she needs. And, uh, and uh, he's really calling that out in the notes here and saying he really appreciates that support he's getting. And uh, Pluminski here on screen. He. Uh also enjoys traveling around the world. He's traveled here to Henley Rural Regatta. What a great place to visit here on uh, Regatta Week. But uh, he is also quite, you know, we've talked about um, Will Young being involved in manufacturing. Uh, Plaminski also has that in common in that he's passionate about motorization and, and aircraft construction. And I'm sure he enjoyed the fly pass that we had earlier and yesterday, right? He'll have been looking to the skies uh, for that. Yeah, I'm sure he will have done. Yeah, I noticed that as well that he said, yeah, he's interested in all things mechanical. Um, these rowing boats are pretty straightforward, but you can look after them better or you can look after them worse. So, yeah, it's a 14 kilogram boat he's sitting in there. The most mechanical thing really in there is the seat and uh, the runners and those riggers that you see set up there. And um, I'm sure he looks after it pretty well. Looks like a lovely boat moving nicely underneath him. And lovely to see uh, these scholars moving into the enclosures. Um, lovely, pr very pretty backdrop here. So we're still with all, everyone lining the banks, the floating grandstand there, which is the big white thing uh, on the left-hand side, where there'll be lots of people looking to uh, you know, view these races right through to the end of the day. And uh, what a great race it's been here for Will Young, the 30-year-old from Cambridge 99s. And uh, you know, I think he'll be really pr proud of this performance, Greg. He should be proud of his performance and look, he's not letting up at all. He's coming down here in front of the enclosures. He's not going to go out without a fight. I'm trying to take a stroke rate on him. I'm getting him at about 38 strokes a minute, which is pretty high in a single skull. He's racing it in past the progress board now. Coming down, it's about 10 strokes to go from where Flaminski is here coming towards the line. And Will Young is not giving this up. I was going to say a smattering of applause, but you can also hear whooping and, and cheering and hollering here for these single skulls. Um, lots and lots of support here for both of these athletes. And uh, Plumsky's managed to wind it down somewhat into the, the, the closing stage of this race. He will go on to face Olympic champion, sorry, not Olympic champion, world champion, in fact, my apologies, Oliver Tidler. Uh, I'm sure he'll be going to be uh, gunning for the Olympic champion. And we're going to go across the line here with uh, Will Young, who uh, trails Pluminski, who gives him a small smattering of applause there.